What's good, Vision Gang? You already know what it is. This is your boy, Dub Vision, and I'm back again with another MMA reaction. Today's video, I got some more Vote Sport for y'all. I've been loving the Vote Sport videos. Y'all know they come with the heat when it comes to the fighter documentaries. Today's fighter is Alistair Overeem. I feel like I mention him like all the time. Anytime I see him in the compilations I watch, so it's finally time to react to Alistair. He hits harder than Tyson, Alistair Overeem. Brutal knockouts in kickboxing. So, um, apparently he's a kickboxer. I don't really know much about Alistair's history. Uh, I do know he had like some history of like beating Brock Lesnar, and I'm really interested in learning about that. Hopefully this maybe covers some of it, but it might not, because this is just this kickboxing stuff. So we're gonna find out some more information about Alistair Overeem. Let's go ahead and go get it, y'all. Man, it is a big dude, man. It don't even look realistic. Alistair Overeem's affluent career includes over 80 fights. Bow! 80 fights. Damn, that's a tall age one, too. Jeez. A collection of titles a big in two dude. sports and a plethora of knockouts. Bigger. Boom! Boom! Rampant power combined with a versatile style immortalized him as the first simultaneous MMA and kickboxing champion. Okay, Recently, so he was simultaneously the doing both. Dutchman put the big gloves on I didn't even once know. again. It's time to take a look back at his illustrious run in the ring, where the Demolition Man dismantled legends and became the last king of the, the original Demolition King Man. One. Just wow, them knees look deadly. That must be like Muay Thai. You can knee in kickboxing? Jamaican on his father's side and a descendant of Holland's royal family on his mother's, Alistair was introduced to the sport Holland's through his family. older brother. Sheesh. The pro debut came about in 1999 under Thai boxing rules. Tall and lanky, Alistair displayed okay, yeah, the distinctive so Thai features boxing, of his so. style. He entered the clinch and launched armor-piercing knees. Yes, sir. Muay Thai style, my favorite. Despite the success, the Dutchman would spend the next few years sharpening his knees in MMA. He could uh, submit him. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful knee. Alistair Overeem has. Overeem's kickboxing comeback took place in 2004 against Glaube Fitoza. The Brazilian was famous for the patented question mark mm. kick and regarded as one of the most dangerous karate that practitioners That dude got a nice, it's a big dude with a nice question mark kick. Ooh, nice axe kick. Sheesh, the outset, okay. The six foot four What's his name again? Heavyweight tried to keep his distance. In the following exchange, Overy managed to connect with a decent right hand. So he's six four. Over, I thought Overy was six four, six five. He looked really big. Maybe he's but only like six three. Push his luck. Uh, yeah, he's fell about six four. Power maybe. Of a natural nah, heavyweight. Probably six three ish. I don't know, he just looked a lot Overeem taller than I thought he was. Oh, years man. Later as a completely different beast. Okay. A successful upgrade of the Demolition Man, fueled by horse meat and notorious Mexican supplements, was complete by 2008. Alistair bulked up to 240 hmm. pounds and went on a okay. killing spree in MMA. Yes, sir. Mm. Slap him. Uh, he got Mark Hunt in the tap. Hari That's challenged Mark Hunt. him to a duel in big gloves on New Year's Eve. Listen, all this hugging and shit is nothing. K1, stand up fights, real knockouts. I guarantee you, everybody who want to fight against me get knocked out. Us. Mm. The Moroccan striker had been Talking the K1 regular stuff. champion with six finishes in a row. You going to back it up, though? Prior. You going to back it up? That's all I got to ask is you going to back it up? A face to face clash of the Titans became the most anticipated event of the year. From the get-go, Badr was overwhelmed by the foe's physical superiority. Mm. Powerful. Ooh. And while Hari desperately tried to come up with ideas, 
Alistair hurt him with a knee paired with a looping punch. Yes. Oh. Soon, another precise left hook found the wobbled Moroccan's chin. No, нет, видимо, не судьба, не сегодня. Против такого гоблина ловить нечего. Two minutes in the ring with the Demolition Man was enough to short circuit Botter's power grid. This encounter kickstarted their decades long confrontation. In March 2009, Overeem got his hands on Bonjanski. Remy was one Good. of the select few to reign supreme in the organization's most prestigious Grand Prix on three occasions. Okay. The man strived to justify his moniker, the Flying Gentleman, at all times. Both warriors showed their aerial prowess from the jump. And Ari, jumping knee! Round kick from Remy to the ribcage. On the plane surface, however, the more mobile Remy outmaneuvered his beefy counterpart. Without just jumping in Okay, the yeah, he do look a lot quicker. And he's got some reach advantage, too. Bonjanski's defense was called, quote unquote, virgins for an outstanding impenetrability. Tonight, folks, was a draw. Ten all fail. Still in the second frame, Overeem located the loopholes. Oh, so oh, caught through that front kick. Slammed him. That front kick was nice, though. Caught him right in the mouth. Began to pull down the opponent's hands to make openings for strikes. Out. He saw him, caught him open. Remy lacked sheer power, of which Alistair had in spades. Oh, put him on his ass. The referee neglected the fall. It would play its role afterwards. In the third, Bonjanski would touch the floor more often than a janitor. Because he's definitely not performing mm. The demolition man could already smell victory and continued to push. But the champion knew the secret ingredient to an unexpected comeback. Oh, he put him down. With a single knockdown, Remy managed to change his fortunes and sway the judges' sympathies for a controversial decision win. Meanwhile, wow, by giving he the got one. He, he got a handle, one by decision. She invitation to the Grand Prix. He was welcomed to the qualifiers by Peter Arts, a three-time K1 belt holder. The Dutch lumberjack was a special kind of fighter, the one who saw the judges' scorecards once in a blue moon. So he was just knocking people out, straight up knockout artist, I Nevertheless, see. Nevertheless, respect for the legend quickly went down the drain. In the first round, or maybe Ertz leads in the team. In the first round, Alistair successfully exploited his athletic gifts and constantly bombarded the adversary. Peter met the bell with buzzing in his ears. Halfway into the bout, Arts initiated rough old school exchanges and produced a couple of bright moments. No, not at all. I just want to think. Grappling going started submitting fighters. Ertz wears the uppercut off the right hand, jumping knee from Alistair. Ertz backed up yet again. He's got to get off the ropes, this Peter. And he does. Jab, right hand. He's lining him up. Overeem responded with hard, low kicks. Mm. Oh, that was a nice one to the mouth. Patient, not trying to chop off the rival's oaken head in one swing. In the final round, Alistair stuck to the game plan and peppered the veteran with meaningful combinations. Oh, nice low kick, got him tripping. Huge right hand. Despite the swollen face and bone-crushing flurries from the supercharged Demolition Man, the ever steadfast Arts made it to the end. Okay.
Alistair had comprehensively outstruck the front man of the old guard and moved further in the bracket. He's done it. Oh! Alistair Come December, he had to put out three men in quick succession, so Everton Teixeira only lasted a minute on his feet. To the outside lead five. A cannon shot knee plastered the Brazilian across the canvas. That was just violence! In the next outing, the demolition man came across Badr Hari, whose diet had clearly changed since their previous meeting. The 230 pound bad boy entered the rematch following a spectacular destruction of Ruslan Karaev. Right, Sifar! Alistair opened the confrontation with a signature throw. And Alistair mm. Whoa, Although this time, Bonner showed restraint and denied clinching attempts. Aiming to even the score, he unleashed flame and fury. Yeah, do quick. Overeem failed to pull the trigger and got caught coming in. Oh, fuck. He went down hard. <laughs> Miraculously, Hari found a way to land a high kick on a man with no neck. Oh, he caught it off. Oh man, damn Alistair. The contest was stopped according to the two knockdown rule. The title campaign had to start over. Javad Podorak became a warm-up in April 2010, and Overeem dropped the victim in no time. He put an end to the skirmish with a pair of ruthless knees. Oh man! The power him charge down, combat quick. machine kept gaining velocity, and six months later, Alistair squared off versus mm. Ben Edwards. In the first round, the Australian saw Them the knees canvas vicious. twice. Vicious knees. <laughs> However, even Iron Will couldn't save him from the right hand of the raging Dutchman. <laughs> Edwards' misplaced heroism ended with a sound of his jaw cracking. These two knockouts secured Alistair a place in the K1 Grand Prix schedule for December, where eight top of the food chain strikers would battle for the crown. A quarter finalist, Tyrone Spong, was then primarily known as a multiple time Thai boxing world champion. Big knee to the head, that is good night. Contrary to expectations, he made a good account for himself in the Overeem fight. The Demolition Man strived to steal the deal early. Spong took note and used the left hand to intercept. Mm. Putting people out. When his hook found the mark, he would immediately he big too. explode with furious combos. Looks like two twins in there. For the next three minutes, Alistair mm. turned his excessive aggression down and seized the initiative completely. Wow. Wow. Tyrone's speed was of little use in close quarters. Towards the end, he got clipped. Backed up into a corner, and the beating was stopped by the referee due to a standing eight count. Man, they going at it for real. Ooh, Overeem that ran chin out got of time clipped. for a finish. Go for the kill, Alistair. In the semi-final, Alistair faced Gokan Saki, the smaller sized Turk always put on a show, as if he learned his moves from Jackie Chan movies. 
All right, guys, standing eight count. Someone explain it. Um, I, my initial guess is is that like eight seconds standing without defending yourself or something while taking blows or something because that's kind of what I saw in that situation. Gokhan did not disappoint mm. the Demolition Man either. Fast hands. Boy, he got lightning quick hands. Rounds of the year. Sheesh. Man, he hit dude with so many strikes in that little combo. Dude got hit about 40 times. tried to close the distance. Saki, despite the injured right hand, shined in open space. After things almost went sideways. Oh. Alistair stopped the games and got the job done in the third minute. Alistair switches. Saki is hurt. Saki instructions. But it's over. Yeah, that arm is broke. Doubling up on the left middle kick, the Dutchman fractured the opponent's forearm and advanced to the finale. On the other side stood an old acquaintance, Arts, who scored a signature fight ender Ooh. earlier that night. Wow, hurt him bad. Hurt him bad enough with that body kick. E no matter how strong Peter's spirit was, he did not stand a chance against the Shit. ultimate form Fractured of the Demolition form. Man. A ferocious, high-paced fisticuff was over in 67 mm. seconds. The legend was sent home packing, and 30-year-old Overeem claimed the gold. And more than that, Mike, history in the making. The newly crowned champ would not enter the kickboxing ring for the next 12 years. K1 went bankrupt, and Alistair's record remained intact at 14 appearances with 10 wins, seven of them by knockout. Securing the status of the first cross disciplinary okay. title holder on New Year's Eve, the Dutch powerhouse captured the dream promotion belt. Duffy tries to back him up with a curling right. Got matching lead from the ring, he taps him, it's over. Good night, Overeem. Overeem is the dreamy crew champion. Following a departure from the UFC, the 42-year-old demolition man brushed took the him dust out. off his big gloves. The return took place against an old enemy, Badr Hari. The rubber match in October 2022 began with sledgehammers flying in both directions. Big right hand in Overeem was confused at first. Yeah, Ooh. that cut right there seemed a, a little weird, lefters. so I'm guessing that his whole UFC career has gotten cut out the video. Sorry, guys. Hari, although not in his Lovecraftian Strictly horrifying boxing, best, I guess. was still sharp with combinations. Oh, another big After getting his feet wet, the Demolition Man found success in the clinch. in the past, winning fights, Joe, even dominating fights. And finally, caught the rhythm. But he knows he has the power. If he can land oh. one big heavy punch, then he does. Hey, man, do put his hands on the body. The uppercut wasn't enough to crumble Botter, but having reloaded the biceps during the intermission, Alistair unleashed a firestorm on the Moroccan in the third round. Easier said than done. Mmm, that uppercut. Two of them, and then a knee. Hari stayed on the feet as long as he could. It was enough to slow him down, though. When action resumed, the Dutchman Bow. rushed to beat the clock. It's legend! That right hand! Legend versus legend! With a shield or on a shield attitude made Hari answer the call. And the remaining minute was full of eye Put him down. Exchanges. Put the boy down. Butter wincing at Woo! the He's fighting back. Big right hand for Butter. He's still swinging. He's going to go. Ten seconds to go. Does this put it to an extra round is what I'm thinking. And that will do it. Let's go to the judges' score. The battle of the veterans exceeded all expectations. Overeem showed up in intimidating shape, and Hari, despite losing the decision, left the sport with a bang.
the Demolition Man made sure his legacy would be remembered. The Living Icon's high-voltage knockouts went down in history as some of the best moments of the K-1 era. Nice. It is quite possible Alistair will soon challenge the reigning glory champion, Rico Verhoeven. And if Overeem decides to call it a career, we can only wish him the best of luck. Yes! No, no, видимо, нет. If you liked the video and want to see more kickboxing legends, press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and vote for sport. That was just violence. Alright y'all, that was He Hits Harder Than Tyson, Alistair Overeem, Brutal Knockouts and Kickboxing, y'all. I do believe that his UFC stuff was unfortunately cut out the video, probably for copyright reasons, y'all. Sometimes UFC can get on some real bull with their copyright um, restrictions on um, YouTube videos, and it sucks. Because, um, you know, we all want to react to that stuff, and they won't let us do it. So, um... Yeah, definitely big, big shout out to Vote Sport. That was dope. Uh, I didn't know anything about Alistair Overeem's before UFC career. I wish I got some of his UFC information in this as well, but that will be for a future video sometime down the road, y'all. Um, you guys, you guys, you guys, if you've made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed and you're not part of Vision Gang, what are you doing? You might as well join Vision Gang. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be first to see the videos and make sure you guys jab that like button. Send this video straight to the moon, y'all. You already know what it is. Be safe. Give it your all in whatever you're doing in life. And I'm going to see you guys next time because I am your boy, The Vision, and I'm out. Peace. I got the vision, I got the vision. I had to leave my haters in the past. Told them good ready, told them good ready. I don't have to prove that I cannot lose. They know that I'm winning, know that I'm winning. I don't have to prove that I got the juice. They know that I'm tripping, know that I'm tripping. And I am not finished, I am not finished. Cause I got the vision, I got the vision. I had to leave my haters in the past. Told them good ready, told them good ready. I don't have to prove that I cannot lose. They know that I'm winning, know that I'm winning. I don't have to prove that I got the juice. They know that I'm tripping, know that I'm tripping. And I am not finished. I'm not finished.